You snore. Maybe it's a broken nose. Well, looks like you've been busy. Doing what, I have no idea, other than getting your ass handed to you. <sighs> Who are you, human? Just speak to me like this. Oh, I'm just another refugee. Like you. But I am not strong enough to defend the balance. That's your purpose. I have learned that I am weak. Well, maybe now you finally understand how all humans feel. Pulled into a war they never asked for. Left to their own devices against forces they cannot possibly understand or effectively fight. All of humanity has been betrayed. And yet, they still fight on. What about you? I strayed from the path. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. Ugh, worse and more. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. So, in other words, you have lived. Yes. Good then. You're finally alive. And with life, there is always hope. Hope? I was humbled in my battle with Envy. No doubt she's on her way to destroy the Chard Council, even as we speak. And I remain stranded on Earth, so when you speak of hope, Human, I cannot concur. All hope is lost. <laughs> no. Haven is built on hope. Come, speak to Ulthane. You'll see. They built us a portal. Why did they help me? That's uh, kind of what humans do. And the fact that you send more than a few survivors our way didn't hurt. All for naught. We didn't pull you from the rubble to quit now. Envy holds the power of the Seven. Your betrayal can be seen on your face. Left for dead like some useless discarded thing, but it is not over. A reflecting pool? Aye, with a few adjustments. But it's only meant for you, will only take you to your heart's desire. I desire only to finish what the Council began. Find your resolve, Horseman. It's all you have now. And it is what you need if you have to stop Envy and unseat your former masters. Well, let's check items real quick. Doesn't look like anything. Securely. What do you need? Aiming mean to lay down a mighty heart, are we? Interesting. Take okay. care. And uh, watch your back, eh? Let's hit enter, I think.
judging that you've forgotten how to fight! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this evil sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons! And you have no one but yourselves to thank for it! Your lust for power will be your undoing envy. Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine. Envy, you have failed. Kill her, horsemen. We command. Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough. Blasphemy, Trent. Yield or die, Envy. <laughs> Seriously? No, but it was worth a shot. You two calm down. We both aspire. We both take our skin. Only I have everything. You have nothing. It's fine. I needed to restock on my Nephilims anyways. for me. There we go. Spite. Let's go ahead and pop the fortification. Get ready with a frenzy. Actually, let's not do frenzy. If we start getting close, then I'll use frenzy. I don't know how bad this fight's going to be. Oh, damn it. Also, my fortification shard went away. That's not cool. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just keep going in, getting used to the patterns. I mean, the low tides are going to kill me here.
Oh my god. Might as well use that. Take a little bit. <laughs> the scythe patterns are a little bit harder to decipher. Sword ones aren't too bad. I was trying to dodge back. So Wrath is jump. Getting closer though. We got her about half that time. Actually, on Wrath, I might just pop my Havoc for him. <laughs> What's up, Silver? How are you doing? Attack, I swear. <laughs> there is nothing you have that I do. I was moving backwards.
that. Oh my god, those fucking shots. How did you think <laughs> face tank this one? And outside of like the gun moves and the uh, and wrath form making me jump, it's not that bad of a fight. But those two things make it particularly difficult. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Bullshit. Nice. Yeah. 
It seems you have finally accomplished your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not. Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horseman. You shall be punished along with your brothers like the impudent child you are. What did that do? fueling the attack on Haven in secret. If you have a plan for them, the time is now. Heaven, hell, the Chard Council, they wish to see them annihilated. You know this, but perhaps you don't know the reason. Even before the apocalypse, why were your lives so hard? Because you were created for a great purpose, and left unprotected. So those who fear you have set out to destroy you, with false promises, and wars, and sin that they blame on you. They all fear you. That fear can be used against them. Humanity can win this war! What can I do? This is what's left of humanity, and we are in no shape to fight the war on the scale you suggest. No. You must hide. From the eyes of heaven and hell? The Council? That's exactly what must be done. But what humanity needs more than a good hidey hole is a protector. A protector? I don't understand! 
Okay. Well, you will. Sadly, you will understand it all as you travel with them. <sighs> Me? They are in need of a protector, and you need a new purpose. Am I wrong? in my possession to protect humanity. And one day, we will set things right, together. Uthain, my brother, War, is an innocent in this drama. If you ever find an opportunity to assist him in any way, I would ask you to do so. I will. Thank you, Maker. May our future be one of justice. I. Safe travels, horseman. Of course. Strife. I knew as soon as I saw those two guns, I was like, those moves seem awfully strife-like. So he was hiding in plain sight the whole time. Also was a good tease to maybe set up the beginning of the next game. As strife fighting back these demons. But now, at the end of... Darksiders 1, we've got Death in the Well of Souls with all the souls of humanity trying to bring humanity back. We've got Fury with the last remaining humans and War just defeating the uh, that dragon. I forget the exact name they used for him. The Destroyer, I think. And then we just gotta figure out how Strife gets there. Uh, which looks like he'll be tied in with Ulthane. Which, now that I think about it, explains why Ulthane has the gun, has Strife's gun for war in the first game. That fits together a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, I appreciate those ties, Gunfire Games. Well done. That's a tie I would not have thought somebody to pick up on. But... Was it... Was it Strife's gun that the Makers had in Darksiders 2? And gave to Death? So, his second gun's gotta be give away, given away. Huh. That timeline's a little bit wonky there. Uh, but Darksiders 2 kind of wants to exist outside of Darksiders lore for for, for part of it. Uh, but that's Darksiders 3, everybody. Sorry I went off on a little ramble about Darksiders lore there. Uh, but uh, I really enjoyed it, even though it wasn't quite the Zelda formula uh, that the other games have been, which is a little bit of a letdown for me. I'm not a big fan of the uh, deliberate countering type gameplay that this was um, but still enjoyed it um, it was a little bit it was a little bit more linear than people made it seem because there was a lot of talk about it being like open world and no it leads you 
from one sin to the next. Uh, you probably could go out of order for a couple of them, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm going to let the, uh, the old credits continue to roll uh, here in a second, and I'll just shut down the stream afterwards. But for those of you watching, uh, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, be sure to click that subscribe button. Uh, you'll get to see all my videos as they go up. Uh, there's also links to my Twitch channel where you can watch watch me while I play through the game, uh, as well as links to my social media uh, and my Discord channel if you want to be part of the daily community. Uh, with that said, let's let the credits roll, and I'll see you next time. Take care. nursemaid to mankind. It is of no concern. Abaddon rules over the earth. Heaven and hell scramble to take their place at the table. And the council? <laughs> the council works against the very balance they profess to uphold. Soon, corruption will overtake them all. And only I shall remain. You... <laughs> May go.